Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Today we're talking about Tasca and Fingerprint Reader. Now, thanks to LockCut, Tasca can actually detect when your phone has been unlocked with a fingerprint. Now, that was possible before with a plugin, but thanks to LockCut we can take a look at a fingerprint ID and actually identify individual fingerprints. Now, I've done a similar profile before where you could use a fingerprint unlock to disable or enable apps and you can really watch it there if you want to, but this one is so much better. So why would you enable or disable apps? Well, first of all, if someone's asked you to use your phone for something specific and you feel slightly awkward because you not 100% trust this person with your phone and you don't really want them to go around your phone and, uh, I don't know, stumble uh, upon something they shouldn't, then that's one of the things you can use it for. Unlock it with a specific finger and disable the apps you don't want third party to see. There is another reason I'm using it at home. I'm disabling work-related apps so they wouldn't notify me. Instead of playing a complicated catch-up with notifications for different locations, I can simply disable the apps, they will disappear from the list of the apps and I won't get any notifications unless the app will get enabled again. Enabling and disabling app requires root, but there is another couple of things that you can actually do without root. First of all, I'll show you how to capture the fingerprint ID from any fingerprint scan. Then I will show you how to detect if someone authorized to use your phone used a fingerprint to log into your phone without you knowing this. Alright, I guess that's enough of recommendations and let me open Tasker and show you how it's done. You can download this project from Taskernet, but before you do so, bear in mind that you have to modify the way the lock card a lock cut works for you. Now let me show you what I mean. If we're going to start with a new lock cut event, so I'm going to events, lock cut, and then I'm going to search for a new event. So I'm creating the bubble, the bubble is waiting, and I'm going to start logging on and try to capture my unlock event with a fingerprint. So I'm unlocking with a fingerprint. I'm going to stop it, and now I have a list of entries. Now I'm going to filter it by FID and you'll see I have two different entries I can use for the same FID. Now probably one of them is because of my ROM so you'll be um, asked to either modify this or select the one that works for you. So this is how you would do it. So let's exit this out because I don't need this. Now that you know how to intercept these, so let's take a look at this first profile, which is capturing FID. That's going to make all the profiles much easier. So if you have this enabled, what it does, next time you scan any of the fingers, it will display the finger ID and it will store it in an array. So for this, the filter is only FID in here, so you don't have to add anything else. And I'm using my component that I showed you how to obtain earlier on. So let's uh, cancel this out and let's take a look at the task. In the task, basically, I'm looking for the, uh, the number itself. So I have the capturing group in here and I'm storing this in an array. So that's going to be a group. Uh, then I'm just pushing the first match into an array and then flashing this as well. So when I actually go to my variables, you'll see that there is enrolled in here and it contains a couple of different fingerprints which I stored already. So those are fingerprint IDs. So let's go back to profile and let's talk more about enabling and disabling apps. Because I'm going to react to a specific fingers, I've added uh, the number to FID. So you would uh, respond to a specific finger. I've set up one for disabling an app and one for enabling an app. How you do it, you would use outer tools uh, uh, root add-on to enable and disable apps. So you're just going to enable and disable apps, select the apps you want to enable and disable, and select the toggle. You will need a root for that. If you want to enable apps, it's the same thing, it's just in the toggle, select enable. That's pretty much everything you need to do with this one to enable and disable apps. Uh, the longer the list of apps, the longer it's going to take to disable it all. If you have one or two apps, it's pretty quick. Now, Lastly, I told you that we're going to create a unlock monitor so you would know when someone's tried unlocked your phone previously. So let's start with monitoring a fingerprint. 
So you have to select monitor a specific ID. So if you let someone to use a fingerprint and roll the fingerprint, it, you can monitor how often they unlock your phone. So my assumption is that it's going to be monitoring your phone from the last time you've unlocked. So let's take a look what it does. Now, on the first run, it's going to just make sure that uh, we set a specific fingerprint. So we're going to look for this and we're going to get that fingerprint, add it to the A stranger variable and set the A unlock to one. So if the A unlock is how many times uh, this person unlocked my phone. Now that's done. Uh, then uh, basically we're going to iterate every time they unlock. We're going to go uh, through searching for the FID, assigning the FID to the DA stranger, so we could display that in the notification, and then adding a DA unlock value and on iterating by one. So each time they unlock, that value is going to uh, be bigger. So when next time after that, I'm going to set a different uh, finger ID or fingerprint ID. So when I unlock with that finger, uh, what happens basically if unlocks the unlocks number is set or you know it's bigger than zero, then it's going to select and um, well notify a send a notification with the following details. You're gonna have your phone security. Your phone has been unlocked by a stranger. Then we have a FID stored by that of that stranger and the number of unlocks. That only happens in obviously if um, oops if uh, the DA unlocks is set. And once I've displayed this notification, then I want to clear that DA unlocks. So next time I'm going to uh, lock my phone, it won't show this notification anymore. So this is how you would do it, it's pretty simple. All right, guys, if you're interested in any of these profiles, just uh, do head to a article linked in the description of this video. You'll find the project files to download if you fancy and more details about how it's done. Now, I do not have a posting schedule, so you probably know how YouTube notification system works by now, but if you want to get notified about my articles which come without the video, it's best to follow me on social media of your choice, that way you're gonna get an instant notification when the new article is out. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye!